guys, there's been a lot of comments saying I shouldn't put this motor into that car. And you guys are probably right. I didn't really treat this motor very well the last time I ran it. treat it right and I was a little hard on it and I was going to try to blow it up inside the ring but then I decided wait a minute this motor's been really good and the transmission's been really good yeah I've ran the car a lot but there's no reason to blow it up and uh, so at that point in time I decided to stop trying to blow up the motor but then I kind of went back to my old ways where I hated it again and I left it outside all winter with no header on it how the motor was tilted is that all the rainwater actually sat inside the exhaust manifold and it froze over winter. So here's what we're going to do. We're going to take out all the spark plugs. I'm going to use one of the new tools I bought, which is a bore scope. We're going to take a look down all the cylinders. Uh, I'm going to try to turn it over as soon as I get out all the spark plugs, see if there's any water in there. And we're just going to do a basic look up on this thing because... because I kind of want it to run when it's in the car, and let's face it, I may have a lot of these four cylinders, but most of them are junk. Oh, my rubber band is missing. So I found my spark plug wrench, and I got all the spark plugs out. I'm ready to see if there's any water inside this. Uh, spark plugs out of two and three did look pretty wet, and they didn't smell like gasoline, so you ready? Oh, maybe I didn't get it. What's going on there? I don't have a good ground. Okay, got ground now. Let's see if there's any water that comes out of this block. Oh, there's water in there. There's water in there. <laughs> there's a lot of water in there. Uh, it looks like cylinder number three has the winner of water. Two and three do have water. Um, that sucks. That really sucks. But guess what? She's turning over freely, so that's good enough for me. I think if I'm gonna skip, stick the bore scope in there, I'm just gonna disappoint myself with how that actually looks. So I'm not gonna do it. Um, no sense of being disappointed before you actually try it. So what we're gonna do now is. Uh, we're going to change the timing belt because this one's melted, because there was sparks. And then once we do that, uh, we're going to put a new crank pulley on it, because again, there were sparks. And uh, what we're going to do is uh, pretty much just try to get this thing to run. Probably going to throw it in the car. Uh, i got to put a wiring harness in because I stole it off this motor. Um, coil packs are still there, starter still there, transmission feels good, front motor mount is broken, and alternator bracket is broken, so I'm probably going to switch all that out. Oh my god, it actually broke the block, so I don't think we're going to be putting an alternator back onto this. Maybe, but I don't think so. So today, we're going to be working on this motor and putting it inside this car. Now I'm waiting for stuff to come in on the power steering lines on this because this was a V6 car but they haven't come in. We're going to be changing the timing belt because as you can see the timing belt has burn marks on it.
And that's because I got this crank really hot inside the car. So we're just going to adjust this. We're going to put a new timing belt onto it. And I'm not going to set any of the timing because the timing is good on this. I'm just going to put a new belt. But you can see how, what the heat has actually done to this belt. You can see it melting. And then we're going to put an engine harness on it. We're going to plug it all in. All the injectors, the back plugs, all that fun stuff. Even the coolant lines of the intake. And then this motor is ready to go into this car. So let's get going on this. Well, we got the harness on. We got it all plugged in and everything. This sensor is broken. The harness and the engine can run without the sensor, but I may change the intake just to put this new sensor on. Um, got the new timing belt on. As you guys can see, she's nice and fancy and not burnt. Just got to pull the put a new crank pulley on because the other one actually did melt in half. The rubber that was on there did melt. Unfortunately, she did not survive. Got to pull out this bolt. I'm not sure how well it's going to come out because she's kind of kinked right over. But I'm going to try. Let's see if I can. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Look at that. Look at that. I'm going to snap that puppy off. Uh, so we got a little bit more work and then we'll be tossing it in there. Now this is kind of jumping the gun because I do have to put the power steering line on this. But again, I've ordered it from Rock Auto and it is not here yet. So, whatever. Uh, so we'll be doing this here very shortly and I'll be including all you guys and girls. We got the engine in, it's all bolted down, I lifted it up, put the motor mounts in from the bottom. The only motor mount I didn't put in was this front one. Uh, because I think this car is going to have to be run stock, so we're probably going to have to put a stock one back on. Um, but as you guys notice, I can't put the wiring harness into the car. And that's because there's still a dash inside this thing. So let's smash this heater core and dash out of it. So then we can put in the plugs that I need to make it run. Hopefully this thing can be running today. So let's get smashing! Well, we have the dash out now. I've kind of cleaned up the interior of this. Got most of the leaves out. But, I'm starting to get an idea of how old this one is. A e-brake that's by a foot pedal and a Camry is uh, very old V6 stuff. And... I think this is like a 92 to 93, maybe 94, but it's older. And I cannot believe how clean this car actually is for being this old. Um, so, as we're going to leave it today, motor's in, timing belt is done, all the motor mounts except for the front one is done because it is so twisted, this motor mount is actually garbage now. Which this will be the very first one that I'm actually throwing away. So, kudos to you, buddy. Um... We still have to do a little bit of work in here. I want to remove this bar, uh, mostly because I've took it in the back twice already, and I did not like that. We got to put our gas tank in, put our battery box in, our computer in, uh, fuel lines, fuel filter, because I do like to run fuel filters on these cars now. I've been finding that fuel filters save lives on these. Uh, I do not like this right here. I'm going to be changing that up a bit. Um, this fitting is broken, so it's an open vacuum leak, so we're going to be fixing that. Um, there's quite a bit of things that we still have to do, and I still haven't heard this motor fire since last October. Uh, we need to change spindles, put axles in. Uh, power steering line has not come in, so I'm still waiting for that. Um, basically, a lot of things left to do to this. Another thing I want to fix is the top of these doors. This is not good. You lose a lot of structural when you lose that. So we're going to suck these back in and basically make it so that these are much better. Maybe do it back here as well. But, uh, yeah. Still lots to do to this car. Um, for the gas tank bracket, I do have one, but we do have to cut it off a post-to-post -post bar. 
This right here is the cage that was in that Buick. So I just have to cut the gas tank bracket off of this and then we can mount this one to the floor. And uh, yeah, so that's, that's gonna be later on today as well. Uh, I've designed it so these brackets here actually go down to the factory rear seat belt mounts. So just gonna break out a torch, do a little cut into this and then we can install it in the car. But you guys were right. I think there's still a lot of life left in this car and I don't think it should have been parted out. Um, yeah, so I'm kind of happy I'm fixing it. As soon as we get this thing running and driving and moving, I will start putting some attention to the back end of this car because, God, she needs it. Uh, just need to fold some things up, tie the trunk lid closed. Um, can't really go anywhere and buy anything. I need some nine wire, but pretty much every store is closed, so we'll see what I can do. Um, going to be a lot of come along in and all that on the back of it, so... Lots more to do, but I do love putting new body motors in old body cars. Look at the space on the back of this thing through there. Quite a bit of space. Quite a bit of space. So thanks everybody for watching. Um, I'm happy we have the motor in. I'm happy she's bolted down. I'm happy that everything sits in there super nice. Um, yeah. So thanks for watching. We'll see you guys back here tomorrow on Zach's Workshop. Don't forget to, to like and subscribe. Almost hit 8,000 subscribers, so I'm actually really happy about that. Maybe I'll do a giveaway or something at uh, 10,000 subscribers because we're almost there and we're going up by about 250 subscribers a month. So don't forget to like and subscribe, guys. And I'll see you back here tomorrow on Zach's Workshop.